Good what our it is our final session together with Mr. Cohen. So we are trying to uh, have a culminating moment, right, where all of our skills come together and we sort of display the best of what we've learned. Um, to add to this performance moment, I'm also going to share with you now about a take-home task, a reflection that I'm going to ask you all to do as a small assignment. Um, again, to demonstrate your learning in a different way. So there's performance, and then there's also through writing, okay? Excuse me, Mrs. Fonseca. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, my name is Jennifer Fonseca, and I am a music teacher at Hazel McCallion Senior Public School. We teach students from grades 6 to 8, and I teach a general music program, which means that students in this program do not learn an, a particular instrument in their program of study with us over three years, but they have a wide-ranging exposure to things like piano, um, some percussion work, we'll do some composition using GarageBand and other technology. And this year we had the opportunity to work with Mr. Nader Khan and have a drum circle experience, uh, which was for some the first time they'd ever done hand drumming. So my hope with the workshops was that students would have a chance to perform in large ensemble. Um, in my class, it's rare for the music students to have a chance to pull together as a large group to one uh, larger goal. In a band class, perhaps, or in a large xylophone ensemble, they do have that opportunity, but sometimes here we're focused more on individual pursuits and looking at history and, and theory and projects. So the drumming circle excited me because I thought it was an instrument they would gravitate to, uh, it would bring a lot of positive energy, uh, they would buy into the learning, and then they'd have that chance as a large group to feel the moment where they were each contributing to a, a greater whole uh, at the end of their performance. And that's, I think, what was achieved with the workshop. By the end, they all had that magic moment of hearing themselves come together for a greater whole, like oh, musically. Like I loved interacting with everyone. It was like fun. Like the freestyle was so fun. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like very boring. Yeah, I thought it was to be fun. Yeah, because yeah, we've been in like different kind of jump workshops. Like yeah. I, I know like in elementary school we did it, it was like super boring. Like yeah. so we actually enjoyed it. The excitement about having an artist in the room is that while I have the training from an education perspective, so I know the curriculum we're supposed to cover, I know the tools for uh, observation, assessment, and evaluation, I am not a one-person stop for every instrument or every genre, uh, every cultural background, every music that's ever been made. Uh, so when an artist comes in the room, I I have that chance to have another voice share their uh, experience as a performer uh, who's still active professionally, which I'm not. I'm in the classroom. Uh, in this case, Mr. Khan is still active and, and in touch with the world in his own band, traveling to different venues, experiencing that as a musician that's current and active. Uh, so he was able to speak to that and bring that world into the classroom while I brought in the side of the education, again, curriculum evaluation assessment and looking at student growth. Uh, my favorite thing is probably learning as, like, as a group, how to draw it together, being surprised and keeping on tempo. Yeah, becoming an ensemble, you know, just like cool how like we can all like, go in sync. Yeah, cool. The journey was, uh, it was a noticeable change from beginning to end. Um, as with anything in middle school, there is a buy-in necessary, and it can be hard to win them over. And Mr. Khan was very good at um, getting them engaged. He's a great storyteller, so he captured their minds by having them uh, reflect on Bigger ideas like respect in a drum circle, the importance of focus and listening um, through storytelling. He did simple activities at the beginning that reinforced that importance of, okay, you're a part of a bigger whole, you need to listen, uh, you need to play your full part. So we started off with baby steps. Um, I brought the background of having worked with some of these students since grade six. So we're three years in and I, I already know 
uh, and have seen their development over three years. So I, I kind of have a starting point of what they're capable of. As the workshops continued, we layered, or Mr. Khan layered in, uh, more complexity of understanding, um, some more complex rhythms, different techniques and strokes. He began talking about emotions and how that connects to the stroke you use and the tempo you take. So he built on more layers of understanding. And I really saw the students' creativity begin to blossom. On top of that, we layered a basic rock beat. On top of that, we played Indian, salsa, and hip hop beats. And we layered all of those. And you guys did it. Uh, and by the end, the final performance was a feat of stamina. At the beginning, it was a lot. They literally were like, oh, exhausted after five or seven minutes of focused drumming. By the end, they sustained anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes of continuous drumming with focus, with listening, with smiles on their faces. Um, and some students that I knew previously had trouble just finding and maintaining a beat were able to keep that beat and more complex rhythms over that beat for an extended period. So that was marked change in their ability as a performer, for sure. I expect it to be more like um, he teaches you, like, like how to play them, but he let you explore your creativity. So the best thing is um, his stories that he tells us, and they're really um, inspiring, and they really want you to, to explore music around the world. Um, I would recommend this to other students, because most students um, listen to just their type of music, and this workshop teaches you to go outside the box. And I remember... We tried doing an ensemble. I was sectioning people off into different parts, and this one second I was running around trying to help everybody stay on beat. Do you guys remember that? Yeah. Do you guys remember how horrible that was? <laughs> but this, we didn't like want to now. Say anything at the time. But, <laughs> you know, now that we said it. <laughs> but now, now you guys are not just playing, but you had people beside you playing strokes and beats that were different from your own, and you still stayed on rhythm. I think there's so much value to this workshop, um, in part from the music perspective. So again, exposure to uh, drumming circle as a form of expression, as a form of coming together in community, uh, as an easy entry point for students who aren't always as strong in music, don't have that music background, or maybe aren't usually as engaged in music. It's a great entry point. You learn a lot. You learn about different cultures, not just from English, just about background of other cultures and why, how they even came, how to beat the drum. It uh, teaches you a lot. Yeah. Uh, it was more than what I expected because yeah. she just said it was just drumming. We learned a lot more than that. Uh, we learned all types of things, such as different strokes. We thought we just learned how they were made, where they came from, the imagination. That yeah, was way better than I expected. I learned a lot. Amazing workshop. Amazing. Mr. Khan's approach layers on that all important piece of diversity, inclusiveness, understanding of each other, different cultures. Music is one place that this generation and really every generation of its time expresses their their thoughts, challenges ideas, shares and experience emotion, teen angst and all of that. Um, and so in this room, it's a place where he says, don't be boxed in by the genre you listen to. I mean, in some respects, it, it almost becomes anti-bullying uh, because every student has their own uh, type of music they might prefer. And is it appropriate to exclude because of that music or to disagree with this music or to draw firm lines between those musics? What if? We can say, hey, it all works. We can bring it together. It's cool. And it can be cool when you mix it with, with another music from another part of the world. And in today's diverse classrooms, the reality is that almost every student goes home and is listening to different musics that their parents know or is from whatever country they've immigrated from. And to exclude that or not speak to it in the classroom is a huge oversight. 
Um, and a workshop like this is that space that opens it up and says it's welcome here. Let's listen to musics that your friends know from their home or they know from their home. Let's play with them, let's blend them, let's welcome them. So I think it's a platform for building that understanding and inclusiveness. And then we're gonna build an ensemble again. But this time we're gonna do it a little differently. Do you guys remember, we spoke over and over again about specific emotions that are connected to specific strokes. For us as educators, I kept referring to it as my opportunity for PD while I was teaching. <clears throat> I was still obviously in the role of teacher in the room, but I was the learner. Um, this was a real cooperative endeavor. We built on each other's ideas um, and it, it energized me. It completely brought in some fresh perspective, like I said, a, a professional artist voice. And so I gained from that. And I think that when that happens, it's of total value to the classes you're working with. So that's one way I spoke about it a lot with colleagues and outside of my classroom. Um, but the other way was just how it, it opened, I think, my eyes and my students' eyes. Again, because we were, um, by virtue of the workshop, being invited to and allowed to and expected to listen to musics that we may not have heard previously from Africa, from Egypt, you know, all different parts of the Middle East, from Asia. We encountered instruments through watching videos or looking at images um, from all different parts of the world. And then we connected to what students listen to today, and I think they really appreciated that. We listened to Madonna, Shakira, um, you know, all these artists that are doing that blending, we, we listened to that too. So it was current and past. Uh, it just felt very alive. It felt very... Um, comprehensive that way. So there were different layers of why I think myself and the students enjoyed it. Okay, so speaking to musical improvement and skill-based improvement in the music classroom, uh, one thing I really noticed was that in the first two workshops, uh, Mr. Khan had students performing basic rhythms, layering some very basic rhythms uh, in groups. So perhaps five or six students sitting in a row in the circle would have, uh, would hit every beat one and three. And then another six to eight students on another part of the circle would be hitting only on every beat one. And he would spread maybe four different rhythms around within the whole group. And in the first two classes, as the teacher, I would run around behind him, helping students find their way back to the rhythm they were assigned because they could not hold it. Even as a group of six, they would lose their way, they would drop the beat, they wouldn't be able to, to find it again without me supporting them. And what was incredible was by workshop eight, we would be giving individual students different rhythms, sitting side by side each other, and they would hold it for a long duration. And further, he would say, okay, go, improvise, and they would of themselves find some form of combination of strokes in their own particular rhythm uh, and hold it completely independently, building a really deeply multi-layered whole ensemble. And we would joke with the kids and say, do you remember how Mrs. Fonseca would run around the circle helping you, all six or eight of you, hold something so simple? And now you're able to, as an individual performer, build more complexity in your playing. And that was a, a definite uh, development in their uh, fundamental skills as a performer and their understanding of rhythm and beat as musicians that I think really was a, a benefit uh, to the kids. Take my hand Take my hand Come with me, Come with me. Take my hand Come with me.